Jim, congratulations. A textbook away performance? Um, I don't think it was a text, textbook performance, um, but it was, we knew we had to come here and contain them, um, and uh, I felt that we'd have opportunities to score. Mm. And uh, in the end, it's turned out to be a really, what looks like a very professional win. And uh, there was a lot of graft and hard work that went into the game, and then the police for Leslie got three points. You talk about coming in and containing Gloucester, is that? behind some of the changes in your team today? They say never change a winning side, don't they? But you did. Yeah, well, um, again, they, they, um, they recalled Demon from, um, back from Salford, so they had a natural centre-half, but mm. previous games they've used Hall as an attacking left-back, and I was a bit worried about Kane being used as a right-winger up against somebody that was uh, really aggressive and on the front foot. Um, Hall obviously tired because he's been out injured, but I thought Sam Minahan contained him, that he was almost anonymous. So that was the thinking behind that one change. Obviously, Duxbury was an enforced change, and uh, Jimmy Ball came in for, for John just to give us maybe a little bit of physicality in midfield because yeah. they were quite a big midfield. So that was the thinking behind it. And there's nothing wrong with what um, Kane did on last Saturday, or John Marsden did, or, or, or Max. So at the moment, the squad's looking really, really strong that we can make changes and still put in a, a very strong performance. Having said all that, you made possibly the worst start you could conceding a penalty after seven minutes but was it a penalty there seems to be a suggestion the actual challenge was outside the box um I, look if you, if you start analyzing the referee uh, he, he, as the game went on he went downhill uh, we should have had possibly two penalties mm -hmm. um, handball particularly well he, he said it's ball to hand hand to ball and then you know you got case <laughs> control the ball with his chest and he's given handball yeah. look we, we can complain about referees we've already got reports in on them um you know, the standard isn't great. Uh, the standard, uh, what was important to us at the manager's meeting was that the standards are going down. So um, it's difficult to assess that side of it. Uh, I think the, ref that the nature of the break, the referee wasn't in a good position to, mm. to determine. And I don't think the linesman helped him out either. But um, uh, we got away with that. But again, I'm, I'm re not so much disappointed with the challenge. And um, although Clark, he's apologised for, for, you know, because we always thought there was going to be a threat on the counter. Yeah. Um, but it's the way that we gave away the ball. I mean, uh, you know, Rossi in particular was culpable in the first 15 minutes of so just every time he had the ball, it seemed to end up with them. Uh, that's an area that we really need to improve on. Uh, just the, the retainment of the ball and being a lot more, uh, you know, you know, just give better service to the front players, better service to the midfielders, because this game was built on us giving the ball away and scrapping really hard to get it back, and, and it shouldn't be built on that. You must be please from a personal perspective about the winning goal today because when you put Kane on I told I, I saw you tell Kay just drop a bit deeper win a flick on and Kane you get in behind and that's exactly how the goal came within three minutes well yeah I mean I'm delighted for Kane and, and I would have even been <laughs> more delighted if Josh Seamus had put his chance in and then you, you look like you're a magician off, <laughs> off the bench but but the thing was is that we all we know Kane's strengths um, and it was obviously a game that we, we set about containment and then a little bit like the mentality we've had in other games uh, where the game's been a draw, let's, let, they, you know, to be fair to them, they went for the win. They put mm. the Kotwika or whatever his name is on, on for them and they, 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 went, they started putting more and more attackers. Mm. Perhaps they lost their composure a little bit because their approach play was pretty good and they started going a little bit more into the, down the throat a bit. But I felt that we always had a chance on the counter-attack, we always had a chance with the pace that we had up front because if they open up, we we're going to get little gaps and we created numerous opportunities in the second half to go mm. and get a second uh, goal, but the first goal was was critical, and I'm delighted for Kane because um, he's come here trying to trying to get himself going again. And uh, I found, you think he's found it difficult in the last two games because mm. his fitness levels are not there, and um, so we wanted to use him more as an impact sub today, and he certainly had that today. When you're away from home and you're looking to get a clean sheet, obviously your goalkeeper comes into that, and not only the penalty save, but that terrific stop six minutes from time from Craig Reed. Goalkeeper Ben Hinchliffe is so important today. Yeah, he's, Ben's been great for us. Um, you know, I mean, there's so many aspects to a goalkeeper's performance. Um, you know, there's the shot stopping, which is the most obvious, but then there's the, you know, talking to mm. the fence. There's the, you know, the dealing with crosses and uh, and also the distribution. And so, in all departments, Ben's been excellent for us, and um, I'm delighted for him. And uh, again, a well-deserved clean sheet for him. You've leapfrogged Gloucester. You've gone up to ninth. Does that indicate and underline perhaps the importance of a victory today? It keeps you right on the tails of those playoff places. Yeah, I think it was really important because the last five games we've, we've only picked up five points, which is not great. And we've been looking at 
dividing the season up into 14 games and the turnover points in the first 14 was good and you split that into sevens and we'd only picked up five points from the five games in this particular seven so it was really important that we got a win today and potentially a win next game so we get that points ratio up to 11 from them seven games. Uh, so we are playing a bit of catch up and we know that um, but if we keep on on point in terms of getting the points that we need. I trust that if we can keep a solid, strong squad going forward and keep improving as a group and keep improving the squad, then, then we're going to get better as the season goes on and start challenging. Again, it's not how we start, it's not how we, the middle, it's all about how we keep gathering momentum. And I set the lads a challenge of the return of the year to try and be in and around the playoffs uh, and hopefully still in the FA Trophy. And if we've done that, then we've had a fantastic first half of the season. Just finally, you mentioned the FA Trophy there. Darlington and Marine have their replay on Tuesday. You're going to be watching that one, or somebody's going to be watching it for you? No, I, I was planning to go last week. We wanted to have a reserve game this week. Um, we'd unfortunately we planned to play Morecambe, but because of the, the workload already for the um, uh, the staff, I think I was going to Altenham. Mm -hmm. um, I'm obviously going to go to Marine Darlington. It was a difficult one for Al because you're watching two opposition, so you're taking a lot yeah. of information in. Um, we'll, we'll see the outcome of that one. Um, Obviously, from our perspective, uh, we get the opportunity on Saturday to maybe make a few more changes. Uh, there's players that have done well in the last game, so we've got a few knocks today. There's mm -hmm. a lot of blood in the change room, and Scott Duxbury in particular has a particularly um, nasty gash on his shin from the follow-through on that last challenge. But I'm delighted uh, with the with squad, and you know, for me, Scott Duxbury in particular was man of the match yeah. today. And great credit <laughs> to Nick Donnelly because, yeah, uh, and to, to Scott because the way they've trained while he's not been playing, he's been fantastic and uh, he was one of the fittest players on the pitch today and uh, I think he, he had a fantastic game for us today and I'm delighted for him. Well, John Whelan called him as the man of the match in the press box today so it's it, it's nice to see him recognised from you know externally as well because left backs don't always get man of the match do they? Oh no and, and, and it's not a measure of um, if you like, I think what they tried to do, we expected them to kick down the left but the manager's clever enough, he, mm. he's looking at our team sheet and he's thinking that lad's coming back from a fractured uh, eye socket, um, let's play on that side, but I thought Lewis Montrose again protected the back four brilliantly on that side. And Gary Stotforth and uh, Jimmy Ball had the balance off in midfield, so you know, we've we, got a lot to learn, but what the lads are learning, if you like, the, the managing situations, the managing the dynamics of the game, um, and I thought um, it was a really good performance. Uh, again, epitomised particularly by resilience, strength, um, doing all the right things when we didn't have the ball, and, and mm. Scott Duxbury, the Lewis Montrose, Gary Stopfus, uh, even you know Chris Smalley, Clarkie, they, they did the they did the job that was required to, to keep the clean sheet. And then with the likes of Danny Lloyd, Kay, Kane, um, and players like that, John Mars and Jimmy Boy, you always got a chance of scoring goals. So uh, clean sheet, we knew we had a good chance of picking up three points, and, and that's what we've done. And 200 plus county fans make the two and a half hour journey as well. It's fantastic. Well, it only took them two and a half hours. We, we have to have words with the coach drive. I think we set off at 10 o'clock today. And uh, again, you know, it's, um, it can't be underestimated um, how, how important, and I've said this about professionalising everything. Um, the lads had food and the coach. We tried to do everything right. Yeah. Um, and, you know, when you consider the travel um, and all the little bits and pieces along the way, uh, it was a very, very good, hard work and energetic performance. But um, I've, I've been more pleased with our performance in previous games where we've not won. Mm -hmm. um, and today I'm pleased with the result and also the effort, but I think we, we need to keep working hard to improve. We can't think that we're a good side because we beat them. We need to be better when we start playing the better sides. It's a great win. Well done today. Thanks so much.